coming up next here on Golf America. We're heading to the low country of South Carolina and to a private golf course community that is home to a wonderful Greg Norman designed golf course. Plus, Golf Fitness Coach Mindy Boysen offers up a great exercise routine to increase mobility and flexibility in the hips. And in our tip of the week, PGA professional Jared Horner talks about the importance of a good grip for making solid golf shots. That golf ball will curve very far to the right. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, is brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game. And by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. golf course here at Oldfield was designed by Greg Norman and opened for play back in 2001. And the signature layout is a tale of two different nines. On the front side, Norman routes the course through the community, though few if any homes actually encroach on the course itself. Then on the back nine, the course opens up. You're gonna see more of a link style golf course opens up to views of the Okity River. And throughout this layout, Greg Norman gives the golfer wide fairways to hit to off the tee. His use of bunkers in the fairways vary. On some holes, they seem to be more directional than penal. And on others, they seem to jump right out at you. We have some waste areas that protect the sides of the fairways. Usually not a not trouble getting out of those uh, fairway bunkers unless you find yourself in one of the native grass plants we have out there. Throughout this golf course, Greg Norman created green complexes that offer an ample amount of protection. One of Greg Norman's hallmarks is the steep face bunkers when you get around the green. Most of our members say if you can get around the golf course without getting in any bunkers, you'll probably shoot a pretty good score. And on the greens here at Old Field, you will find some movement. And most are large in size. And the breaks that you do see when you're chipping and putting are fairly subtle. You're not gonna see anything that's real obvious in the breaking on the greens. With its five sets of tees, the golf course here at Old Field is suitable for any level of player. For the truly gifted ball striker, the back championship tees played a 7,142 yards, while offering a course rating of 75 and a slope of 141. You really get to play every club in your bag when you play all the way back there, it's fairly long. If you move up to the white tees, the length is reduced down to 62.23. And from the forward burgundy tees, the course plays to 5,046 yards. And the true challenge of playing this golf course can be found on your approach shots into each and every green out here. I always encourage people to try to miss long on this golf course because if you do get in one of those bunkers short of the green, uh, it's almost an instant bogey. And as you begin your round out here at Old Field, you'll do so on a par four with a generous fairway. Then on your second shot, you'll be taking aim at a narrow green. Easy to hit the ball long there, and it's a really tough up and down if you hit, hit over the green there, and then short, you'd be in a, a steep bunker that would be a tough shot. Another great hole on the front side is the par four fifth. Uh, a lot of people call that the, the most difficult par four in the low country. You'll, you're gonna have to hit a nice high fade off the tee. You're gonna 
find your ball in the fairway with the ball below your feet and then your approach into the green, you'll see a hazard on the right hand side that, that takes a lot of balls. And as you make the turn, you'll do so on a relatively short par four. Featuring a lateral hazard down the left hand side and a sizable waste bunker to the right. The green is protected by bunkers to the front right and left. The Greg Norman design layout here at Oldfield, a par 72 golf course that is recognized for its playability, along with its great natural beauty. It is here where you'll find no gimmicks, just a fantastic golf course. And still to come on this week's show, we'll head back out to our course of the week, Old Field, and show you a great risk reward par four on this Greg Norman design. Plus, golf fitness coach Mindy Boysen offers up another exercise routine to help you get fit for golf and fit for life. Number 12 here at Oldfield is a classic risk reward par four on this Greg Norman design. I think what Norman had in mind when he designed this is that people would grab their driver like he used to do, hit a high fade and right onto the green. For those who would rather play it safe and find the fairway off the tee, leaving the driver in the bag is probably a good choice. Still, you'll need to find the short grass in a tight landing area framed by a lateral hazard left and water right. You can hit a maybe 170 yard shot and you'd find yourself here and then a shot over the green still pretty difficult you have to carry the bunker. Plus on your approach you'll be taking aim for the smallest green on the golf course. I think center of the green here, walk off with a par for the mid to high handicapper would be a good strategy. Hole number 12 on the Greg Norman Design Golf Course at Oldfield. A short par four that can yield a low score or bite you like a shark. You can make anything from a two to an eight on this hole. Hey golfers, Jared Horner coming to you from the Lesson Tee at Oldfield Golf Club. And today I'd like to talk about how our grip directly relates to our ball flight as well as our alignment over the golf ball. Now our grip is our only connection to the golf club, so we want to make sure that we have a grip that allows us to work the ball in both directions, as well as hit a straight golf shot. So what I see most days on my Lesson Tees are golfers that set up to the golf ball with a very weak right hand, meaning their right hand is very much on top of the golf club, and what that does is aligns their shoulders to the left of their target. This will also start their golf ball to the left of their target. And if the club face is open coming into impact, that golf ball will curve very far to the right. Opposite of that, what I see are golfers that set up with a very strong right hand, meaning their right hand is very much underneath the golf club. And what that does, completely opposite of the weak right hand, sets their shoulders up to the right of their target in this direction. And if we come through with a very closed club face in that direction, that golf ball will curve very far to the left. To achieve straighter golf shots, we want to set up with a very neutral grip. I can do that by placing the golf club up in front of me. I'll place my left hand on the top of the grip in my fingers. Same thing with my right hand. It goes right underneath my left hand in the fingers of the grip. And if I set up to a golf ball with this neutral grip, you'll see that my shoulders and hips are aligned at my target rather than off to the right or off to the left. Set up more neutral and you'll hit straighter golf shots. Spread out over 900 acres along the Okatee River, Oldfield is a low density community. 
We have uh, almost 300 homes built in a, with, with a total of 540 uh, for the whole 940 acres. Apart from its fantastic Greg Norman signature design layout, Oldfield is amenities rich, which includes an equestrian center. We offer lessons, we offer shows, we offer um, trail rides, we do clinics, we do off-site events and on-site events. Oldfield also offers two different restaurants. We have the clubhouse, and we also have a river club. This historically renovated plantation home is a gathering spot for dining and enjoying views of the Okatee River. For those seeking to stay fit in both body and mind, there is the sports club at Oldfield with an array of activities and programs, including a gym that features the latest in Cybex equipment. The sports club also features a heated lab pool You'll also find a resort-style pool at the club as well. And just steps away from the sports club is the tennis complex, offering six hard true clay courts. If you're into fishing or hunting, look no further than Oldfield's Outfitter Center. The Outfitter Center is, the, is, is kind of the gateway for our membership to the Okatee River. This is what gives our membership access to the river and everything it has to offer. We do some international destination trips. Uh, this will be the fifth year that I've done a fly fishing excursion to Belize. Apart from all of its amenities, Oldfield is a community with a sense of place. The architecture here at Oldfield is, is in sync and in harmony with nature. We have a strict architectural review board. The homes need to have a low country feel. They need to have a certain amount of porch space and, and shutters and, and a feeling that just blends in with the trees and nature. It, it really sets Oldfield apart from a lot of the other communities. Oldfield, it is where people come together to share all that life has to offer. We have amenities, we have natural beauty, we have the river. The, 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 the game changer is the people. Many good rounds have been ruined on this hole. Uh, from, the, from the member tees, you're gonna see about 165 yard carry to the middle of the green. There is a bunker that guards the center of the green. So depending on where the pin's at, you may have to work your shot from right to left or from left to right. And when the pin's in the middle, it's typically right over that bunker. It's a fairly narrow green. And with the wind normally back into your face from right to left, the key here at Old Fields number 16 is club selection off the tee. And if you're gonna miss the green here at hole number 16, it's probably best that you do so long. A lot of members will just pull driver or three wood and make sure they get it over the green and, and still try to chip it back and make par that way. It's the most difficult par three on the golf course. Hole number 18 on the Greg Norman Design Golf Course at Old Field is a great finishing hole. This par 5 features a double dog leg. It's going to be very difficult to reach it in two. It would take two very, very large hits to reach that green in two. So most players are hitting a drive down the middle. 
Now the very big hitters can knock off quite a bit of distance by taking their drive over the trees down the right-hand corner. Yes, we do have some players that do that, and that'll leave you about a 210-yard shot into that green. And for those golfers playing it as a three-shot par five, your distance off the tee will determine just how difficult your layup shot will be. If you do hit a, hit a good drive and you go for a layup shot, it's not an easy layup. You've got, water, you've got a pond about 100 yards out from the green on the right and woods on the left, so it's probably one of the toughest layup shots that you're gonna see out here. And because the green is fairly large, pin location will have a big influence on how you play the entire hole. If you step up on that tee, you typically look at your hole location sheet and see where that pin is to see where you want to have your second shot end up. When the pin's back left, you certainly don't want to be laying up on the left side of the fairway. You'll be blocked out by the tree, so you're trying to play strategy there for your, for your third shot. The finishing hole here at Old Field. Just one of 18 marvelous holes of golf you will find on this Greg Norman Design golf course. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, has been brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game, and by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos.